with the restoration of God living inside you, me, everyone, we can learn to trust again and be vulnerable with people again after being being hurt. But that doesn't mean that things should return to the way they once were, no. Setting boundaries is both healthy and necessary in this broken world. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pen with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces God out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never... Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, <laughs> mi familia, mi raza, A-Town, Suenta la Suburban, because we're about to take a ride. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Ron Strong. It is Friday. Yeah, man. You know, boundaries have been something that I've, I've had to learn just because of how drastic my change was and the people that um I used to like to hang around with <laughs> I'm not saying that in a bad way okay I had to learn the difference between boundaries and walls because I know walls I've been building them my whole life you know uh, I I I built walls to keep people out boundaries give others the rules for interacting with us. It's a big difference. Walls just keep everyone out and at a distance. As Christians, as Christ followers, it's important that we learn to have the right balance. And this is all stuff that I'm learning, that's why I'm sharing it with you because the more I share it, the more I learn, and the more I get better, the better you guys get, and the bigger our family gets. And at the end of the day, this is why we're here. We're ambassadors of Christ. We have to disciple and tell people the truth. Boundaries are necessary to protect what is sacred to us. If we don't like who we become around someone else, that's like me, you know, going back to my old ways, hanging out at the strip clubs and the mall and <laughs> the block. We should limit the amount of time we spend around those areas and around those people. And that's not, it's not a bad thing. It's not saying that you're better. If someone makes you feel less than who God has made you to be, you shouldn't stand, you shouldn't be there. You, sh you should stand up for yourself and put a boundary in place. We're supposed to love our enemies, yes. We're supposed to love them, not judge nobody, all that. And it's supposed to come from the heart. That doesn't mean you have to have lunch with them. Sometimes we, 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 sometimes we put ourselves in dangerous or harmful situations because we want to tell others what Jesus did for us and what he's doing. And we want to give it away because we know how those people are feeling. But what we need to understand is that he might choose us to help him. And that's a blessing alone, just to be a vessel, to be used. He, don't, he doesn't need us. God don't need us to save them or save anybody. It's a blessing that we get that he uses us. He's already pursuing their hearts. 
and he will never stop. If it is unwise for you to be around someone, love them and pray for them. And sometimes those boundaries, those boundaries are for us. We say terrible things about ourselves sometimes that we would never say about no one else. We look at ourselves in the mirror and we're like, man, you look awful today, or you look fat, or, you know, it, this impacts our, our feelings of self-worth over time. When you're tempted to speak about yourself like this, you need to speak biblical truth over our lives instead. We must remember that God sees us as his masterpiece and fight every lie with truth. Think about this. Consider what boundaries you need to put in place to protect yourself from future harm. Ask God to help you find a healthy balance with your boundaries. When we follow Christ and set healthy boundaries, we are declaring that we are worth, worthy of love and respect. Come join us at Desert View Bible Church located at 105 West Carefree Highway in Phoenix, Arizona. Our service is at 9 a.m. and 1045. It's a great church, great people. Come and visit us. Pick up your Bible. Listen to the word. Read it. Study it. Meditate. Practice it. Live it. Hold it strong with a strong grip. You'll be surprised how much it can change your life. It's all to him. All his glory, all his name. Thank you for my salvation, Jesus. My name is JC. Hey, I am Ron the Strong. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, live for him. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.